I'm going to discuss something called function overloading uh, in this video. So essentially, um, I'm going to pick up where I left off on polymorphism because function overloading is kind of one of the ways in which polymorphism is implemented in Java. So the first thing to note over here is polymorphism. So essentially, you remember what polymorphism is. It's many, one object having many forms implemented. I can fit it in. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if you can read that, but anyway. So, polymorphism is implemented by function overloading. Now, polymorphism means one object having many forms. Now, what function overloading is, it's basically one function, one function name but rather it's basically many functions let me see if i can squeeze that in many functions many functions but with one name so essentially what the difference is is the signature is different the function signature basically it contains the access specifier, return type, name of the function, parameter list. Signature is different. That's what you need to remember. Now, moving on. Let's say that I'll show you an implementation of this. Let's say you had a function public void area. Okay, this is one function. Let's say you have the signature of one is this. Now I'm going to show you the signature of another one. Let's say you can have int area int a int b. This is correct. This is valid. Now let's say you try to have something else. Void area and a this also is correct now let's say you think of something now now i'm gonna show you something you might think this is correct but think of it carefully and you might be able to figure out why it's not correct let's say you think of something like double area this is wrong this whole thing is wrong now let me show you why you can define these the first three in one class and it will work your class will compile fine it will work fine but the moment you try to add this last one this double area with nothing in parentheses it will not work now let me show you why that is So when you have a function with the same parameter list, essentially your compiler will not know how to call that function. Now if I write in some other code where I'm calling this area function, let's say I have my main function, let's say it's void, void main, and here I write area. How does the compiler know? which area function you're talking about it doesn't know whether you're talking about this this double area this one out here and it doesn't know whether you're talking about this public void area so essentially that's why your code will fail now so basically the three points you need to remember is return type may Damn. Sorry guys. Turn type may be different. I'm just gonna make it may differ. Space constraints. I'm really sorry. 
parameter or argument list this now this is the important one must for this must it has to and obviously name is the same and that's why the functions are called overloaded so that's pretty much it for function overloading it's a pretty simple concept I mean let's say I told you to overload a function let's say overload a function um, I'm going to call it area using my previous example and let's say one would be area of square let's say rectangle let's say circle now these three functions have different requirements the square will need just the side and that side square is the area this will need the length and the breadth and this will need the radius now see the square and the circle look as if they have similar requirements but they don't now essentially you could write a function public double square oh, let me write it down that would be better hold on guys let's say you could write public double area oops and here you wrote double side since this is for a square now let's say you wrote public double you try to overload this function and you wrote public double area and you wrote over there double r for radius this would not compile why because the parameter list is the same and the return type is the same this is essentially the same function the compiler will know will not know when you call area 4.2 the compiler will not know whether you want the area of a square which is this one side or a circle so in this case what do you do a smart way to tackle this is to write let's say void area oops I meant inside and for double of I mean for a circle you can have void area double r that's a smart way to tackle it so I mean that this is one of those problems where you don't really have a perfect solution it's it it leaves a lot left hanging in the balance you can do what you want but that that's about it for this tutorial on function overloading and I hope it helped you guys it's a simple concept there's not much to it so I hope to see you guys in the next video subscribe thumbs up whatever and see you guys